It's Katie Ledecky's legendary reign in distance swimming finally being threatened. After 13 years of 800 meters freestyle dominance, starting, believe it or not, when she was just 14 years old, Katie Ledecky's finally lost, and to none other than Canadian superstar, Summer McIntosh. But what does this result really mean in the lead up to the Paris Olympics? Bring it. For more than 13 years now, Katie Ledecky has been an absolute force to be reckoned with in the swimming pool. She may even have a claim to be one of the greatest swimmers of all time. But on February the 8th, 2024, something kind of historic happened in the career of Katie Ledecky. She lost, which is a rare occurrence. 17 year old Summer McIntosh beats her by a massive six seconds at the Southern Zone South Sectional Championship in Orlando. And Summer swam an equally impressive time to the result. She went an 8 11 39. So why is this historic? Why does it matter? It's a meet where neither girl is rested. It's a meet that doesn't mean much in the entire swimming season, especially with the Paris Olympics just around the corner. And even more so when you think Katie Ledecky has swum four seconds faster than Summer McIntosh managed just last year. It's not like she's in regression at all. She's getting very close to her previous world record marks. Well, Summer now becomes the second fastest ever swimmer in the 800 meter event. And only 16 faster swims from Ledecky stand between her and the world record, which in itself is a ridiculous ridiculous record and it shows just the dominance of Ledecky over recent years. So statistically speaking, a first loss in 13 years, no matter the little importance of the meet, no matter if they're not both rested, is kind of a marker of note. And because of this result, the headlines are already being written, the clickbait articles have already started. With the big question, does this signify the end of the Ledecky era? With the Paris Olympics just around the corner, is there seriously a chance that USA Swimming's banker gold medals are under threat? Could Summer McIntosh really represent serious competition? Can you just imagine now a fully rested Ledecky and McIntosh going against each other for a full eight minutes, finally, someone on the shoulder of Katie Ledecky for an 800 meters freestyle race? Could we see a ridiculous world record broken given that she'd now have competition, someone to race? The potential for an epic showdown is truly electrifying. But there's a twist and there's a problem with that scenario and a big reason for now why Katie Ledecky looks to be safe at the Paris Olympics. Summer McIntosh isn't just focused on the 800 meters freestyle. In fact, at this meet in Orlando, she was swimming races that are never gonna make it into her Olympic program. She swam the 100 meters freestyle. She swam the 200 meters breaststroke. In fact, she swam the 200 meters breaststroke and did a very impressive 227, which just shows the quality of the girl. So when it comes to her Olympic program, the 800 meters freestyle actually clashes incredibly badly with the 200 meters individual medley, an event where she is slated in already to be one of the gold medal favorites. The heats for both events are on the same day, and then the finals are separated by a mere medal presentation. It's a near impossible task. And balancing these events and more likely prioritizing the 200 meters I am means that at least at this Olympics, a showdown between her and Ledecky is in doubt. So whilst it's not impossible that the Ledecky era is going to be challenged, it certainly looks highly improbable. However, hypothetically speaking, if these two were ever to go head to head, fully rested, Olympic final, lay next to each other, who do you think is going to win? Who would you put your money on in February, five, six months out from the Olympic Games? Let us know in the comment section of this video. I'm really interested to see like hypothetical opinions where people are at after this swim. Now what this does mean, however, is the head to head between Summer McIntosh, Katie Ledecky and world record holder Ariane Titmus in the 400 meters freestyle now looks even spicier than it was ever before. It was labeled the race of the century last year and right now on paper it's looking even better when it comes round to the Paris Olympics. So that just about rounds up this video from Propulsion Swimming. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and make sure you're subscribed to the Propulsion Swimming YouTube channel because we've got lots more of these topical videos on the way as we really ramp up our coverage heading into the Paris Olympics. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh,